Welcome to Castrol Active Champions, where we've profiled so many magnificent athletes over the last few weeks. But today we're going to profile somebody very special, and that's you. I, I strongly believe that nobody protects sport more than the fan does. And in cricket, that's especially true. It's the Indian fan that is keeping this game running. You might, you might have cricket played in 100 countries, 105 countries, whatever. But the money in the sport and the sustenance from the sport comes from the Indian cricket fan. So you could say that the Indian cricket fan actually protects the game much like Castrol Active's Activons continuously protect your bike engine, whether it's running or it's off. Ask any performer, whether it is a singer, whether it's a speaker, whether it's an athlete, whether it's a cricketer, and they'll tell you just how much the audience spurs them on to perform. I've seen at, at Olympic events, the triple jumpers literally goading their supporters on to cheer them. Virat Kohli does that a lot in recent times actually. When he notices the tempo is a little down, he'll go up to the crowd and say, come on, egg, egg, yourself, egg us up, get, get the energy flowing as well. And increasingly, we're finding that teams are, are having their, the band of supporters travelling around with them. It started with the Bami Army in, uh, in England and uh, therefore it was never going to take too long for India to come up with its own version. Maybe a little louder, more Desi version and then the Bharat Army came along. <laughs> They don't contribute to the flow of the match as such, but they just create the environment and they tell the players that they are liked, they've got people following them. And while the Bharat Army was spreading its roots around, India acquired its own talisman as well. And, and he came along, he had Sachin written on his, uh, on, on his chest, he body painted himself, the India colour was everywhere, you see covers of books, anything that where the Indian fan is to be talked about, you talk about Sudhir Gautam. But the good thing about him is he's travelling everywhere through all weather conditions. I mean, there, there are days when it's been incredibly cold and there we are pulling on a second sweater on and this guy is just waving his flag around and I say, wow, that's, that, that support must run deep. I remember this day many years ago. I, I think it was in Bristol and just before the game started, I started getting the aroma of an Indian cricket ground and I looked, looked outside and there were these huge, big built Punjabi families coming in and they settled down and it almost seemed to me that they were there for the party. It, it was just that day out and the cricket was just an occasion. And a little while later, Nasir Hussain came along, so I think it might have been about 2007 and he just looked around and said, right then, who's the home team here? And I found that a couple of times later, I'm doing commentary with Michael Atherton and he mentioned it as well, that everywhere India go now, especially in Britain, but we're seeing that in New Zealand, South Africa, Australia as well, everywhere you go, there is a flavour of the Indian fan everywhere. And the Indian fan is now, is now ubiquitous. The Indian fan is now not just protecting Indian cricket in India, but by buying so many tickets around the world, he's helping other cricket boards as well. I mean, someone asked me, how come there's so many Indians there? And I said, you know what, maybe when the tickets go on, if they know the ticket sales are going to start at 10, 10 a.m. by 9.55 they've all got their laptops ready they've gone to the site with their fingers like that as soon as it ticks across at 10 o'clock they go boom and then there's no tickets left for anybody else to buy but it must be a fantastic feeling for the Indian cricket team wherever they go they enter a ground and there's the Indian fan. the years, I've been fortunate to have seen some great moments by Indian cricketers on, on a cricket ground and it, it makes you feel wonderful, whether it's a Tendulkar 100, whether it's a Kumble 10 wicket haul, it, it just makes you feel great and sometimes you sit back and say, wow, I was there. And I've had, a, I've had a, an Indian fan moment like that as well and it came at the World Cup of 2015. After the opener, England versus Australia at Melbourne, I was flying out to Adelaide for the India-Pakistan game. And believe me, that day at Melbourne airport, there were so many Indians around, you would have found it difficult to believe that you were actually in one of the, at, at, at an Australian airport on the great cities of the world. And then we landed in Adelaide and there was just Indians and Pakistanis around 70% 70, 70 of them were Indians. And you sort of expect that, it's an India-Pakistan game, everyone's bought tickets. 
But then my moment actually came in Melbourne. India were playing South Africa at the MCG. More people at the ground there that day than to watch England versus Australia in the opener of the World Cup. And then the national anthem started. And then suddenly you realized that there were 60,000 Indians almost. It was about 87,000 people, so between 55, 60,000 Indians. And they're all singing the national anthem together. And some days later, I got a WhatsApp forward. And, and believe me, you see that WhatsApp forward and even today you go, wow, there's 60,000 Indians in another country singing the national anthem. And that's when you realize that, that the Indian fan is such an integral part of the world game. If cricket is in a healthy state today, if India is leading the way in financing the world game, a large part of that is because of you and me and all of us, well, more you than me really, because we're all buying tickets and sitting in front of television screens, adding to television rights and in doing so protecting our game. Much like Castrol Active's Activons, continuously protect your bike engine, whether running or off. And so on this program, we will continue to feature many more champions, but we thought today we might as well feature another aspect of our sport, another different champion, and that's you, the fan. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Lots more coming up in the weeks ahead.